Hey and welcome to this channel guys. Today we are working with Kima Braid Ocean Wave color P430 and Kima Braid Ripple Deep color 1B30. I am going to be using a mixture of both hairs as I will take a little bit of Ocean Wave a little bit of ripple deep I will mix them and then I crochet it into the hair here I am showing you the ocean wave pattern and the ripple deep pattern and you can tell the difference all right so I'm going to combine that and put that in if you have seen my other video you know that I do a bridge braid sometimes when I am working with straight or all wavy hair and so this time I wanted to try doing two bridge braids to see if it made any difference in the look and the coverage of the hair, especially my client um, has a little bit of some thinning areas in the top of her head. And so it made sense to have at least these two bridge braids to make sure that I could gain the most or the maximum coverage for the top of her hair. But you know what? We just have to find ways to make it work for a client regardless. Okay, so I hope that this technique helps you to add more coverage. Um, if you have having difficulty trying to cover up or build bulk on the top of the head, you can use this technique. So here I go. If you've never seen this method before, I call it the bridge braid. I came up with this technique again because I wanted to, um, I wanted the hair to fall back so that if wind blew or anything, the hair just didn't separate and you could see each single braid going down the back of the head. So that is why I do bridge braid. So guys, like I told you, we're doing two. I have cornrows going back and I am doing the bridge braid from ear to ear. What I'm doing here is I am cornrowing the braid that is closest to her ear. I'm going to cornrow that all the way down to the back of her head. I'm going to continue that all the way. And then I'm going to start from the left braid closest to her ear and meet that with the first braid I just did. And I'll put those together and let it hang. Okay, so this is how the first bridge braid is looking. So next thing I'm going to do now guys is continue my braids backwards. I am going to continue the braids past the first bridge braid. So that's what I'm doing. Sorry I had to speed up the video because if I didn't it was going to be too long. But you get the idea what I'm doing. I'm continuing the braids. Not all the way. I'll say to the middle of her head. That's as 
far as I'm going. And then now I am dividing a line and that's where my bridge braid is going to go. All right, so I'll take the end and I'm going to cornrow it all the way coming up. And I will put the braid down like so. I will continue cornrowing. So it's almost like I am cornrowing in front of each braid. When I get to it, I place it down and I cornrow over it. I hope that makes sense. Do you see how that looks? So what you have to make sure is that when you do the cornrow, finish the end a little bit so that when you place it down, you have a good braid laying down and then you can braid over it. Gosh, I hope that makes sense. Like finish the end of each braid, not all the way, but finish the end enough that you have a long braid enough to lay down and do your bridge braid across it. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say and I hope that makes sense. So now that I'm done with my last bridge braid, I am going to just divide the lines back. They don't have to be small now. I can just have large cornrows going all the way back and I will incorporate each finished, the, the end of each finished braid into the next cornrow that I'm doing so that the removal of this hair uh, it's easy on the client and you don't have too many ends to worry. You can just take out one braid and it leads to the other braid so you can just take your hair out like that. Sorry, I can't talk this morning. <laughs> We have here one bridge braid, and two bridge braids for braids. Two bridge braids. <laughs> <laughs> one here and one here. Let's put it in and come at it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then everything else is just going back. All right. I am going to tuck it behind the cornrow, and I am going to crochet. I want to show y'all something. Do you see this braid? It's coming off. Why is it coming? Over time, if she keep brushing her hair, this crochet is going to come out like that. Let me show you how I put it in and why that happened. So, if you put crochet in, let's say here, pull it in, you have the hair, loop one, loop two, loop three, loop four, let's say loop five, even loop six, and you twist and pull the hair through. You push it down, you know, like we say, push it down. Look at the braid. Look at the type of, come on, focus. Look at the type of crochet you have here. And over time, if she keep brushing the hair, it's gonna get loose. Do you see that? Over time, it's gonna get loose, it's gonna come out. See how easy it want to come out? Okay. And now let me show you how I do my finger when I do the next loop and how I secure the loop. Why that doesn't come out, I don't know. All I know is somehow 
doing my finger like that makes it lock. So I put the crochet in, pull out. Okay, put the crochet in, right? Loop one, loop two, loop three. I'm just gonna loop four in this one. And then instead of twisting it in like this, I don't. So I've looped four, right? I do this, I put my finger in the hole and then I do this and I pull it through and it's a different type of secure. And for some reason, this doesn't come out so easy. It's still, it's still there, y'all see? It's not coming out that easy. So to really, really enforce that, if you want, pull it base, take some of the hair, loop it around this hair, push it down, and then split this hair. You can tie like this, or you can loop around itself, push down, and then this hair ain't going nowhere. So at least they have a knot they can cut when you're ready. All right, so that's how I do my crochet, and it don't come out. Okay, I'm just going to slow it down so you guys can see what I just did. So pay attention to what I'm doing to my finger. Now, when I asked Beauty Can Braid why my crochet is be coming out when I loop six times, she said, maybe you're using um, your hair is too thick or maybe you're not looping enough times. And I, I said, I am. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think what I was doing wrong was the finger action that I just showed y'all. I was just looping the hair, twisting it, thinking that my crochet was done and it was coming out. But as soon as I, I did this finger action, the hair wasn't coming out anymore. And I thought, perhaps that's what Beauty Can Braid is doing, but couldn't explain over text message. So here I am going to use some mousse and polisher. Before you come for me, I know synthetic hair is an artificial fiber and it may not necessarily work with 
any product for the guys. This is how I do mine. This is how I like it. I like my alcohol free mousse with polisher. This combination makes the hair look really nice for me and this is how I do my crochet. And so I know there are gonna be some comments. Also, yes, you do see the hairline because I'm trying to save her edges. So I put the crochet hair halfway and yes, you're seeing part of the hair. It is a style. It kind of mimic tree braid style. So that's what we're going for, okay? So don't be so disappointed and say, why am I seeing the front of the braid? And why does it look like this? Flow with the flow, sis, okay? This is the style, it's intentional. Okay, thanks. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to share this video. Make sure to like and make sure to comment. Let's grow this channel together, guys. I have more stuff coming. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.